Hello, welcome to this virtual real estate masterclass. Now, in this video, we're going to cover how you can create a business for yourself online by investing in virtual real estate. And virtual real estate basically has to do with online assets when you talk about virtual real estate just like in the real world where you look at real estate as you buy land you buy real estate properties it may be a house it may be an open field and then once you have bought those real estate properties you can really you can rent out those properties and earn rent on top of your properties on from mm -hmm. the month to month basis online also we have digital assets that you can treat as properties and you can apply the same principles of um, the real estate business that we are used to traditionally. You can apply the same principles to online. And in this course, we are going to be narrowing it down and we are going to be focusing basically on the web hosting industry, and we're going to be talking about reseller web hosting. So what do you do in a reseller web hosting? How do you plan a business around it? And how do you generate revenue from month to month by running a profitable reseller hosting business? We're going to cover all of this in this course, and it doesn't matter if you don't have any prior experience, this course is going to be well laid, laid out, it's going to be detailed, and it's going to show you everything you need to do and everything you need to know step by step, including all the setup process. And then if at any point you uh, have areas that you need clarification on, you can always reach out and we'll assist you to get started and we'll assist you in setting up your profitable um, reseller web hosting business because it's time for you to also have a piece of the digital space. So, in order to get started, what exactly is web hosting? Because if you are going to talk about you starting a business in reseller web hosting, I think the first thing you need to do is you need to understand what web hosting is. So, web hosting basically has to do with servers. Um, when I say servers, what I mean are computers, computers around the world where people keep the files of their websites. And when I say the files of their websites, you need to understand that a website like this website that you are looking at right now is just a combination of pictures like this. This gator here is actually a picture. So you have pictures, you have text, this is a text. You have the code of the website that makes the website work. You have audio elements, you have videos. Now, all of these things are files. So think of web hosting as your computer, the computer that you are watching this video or this course from now. Now, on that, your computer, you have all your files. You have your Microsoft Word documents, you have your pictures, you have your audio files, you have your music, you have your videos, your movies, and all those different types of files, your PowerPoint presentations, your Excel files, all these files are present on your computer. And then those files are stored on your computer. Now, if you need to access any of those files, what you do is that you open up that file on your computer and then that file becomes available to you. So let's go back to web hosting. Now, online, if you wanted to have a website, it's the same principle. You have all those files that make up your website. The problem is if you kept your files on your computer in your house, that computer needs to be up and running 247, 24 7, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, so that when people are looking for your website, the web the, your computer is available to give them your website. Now, for a lot of us, this is not practical. I mean, it's not practical to have my PC on 24 hours a day. I don't have the, I don't have the heating, uh, I, I don't have the cooling required because you need to 
through your system. I probably don't have the security required to do that. I don't have the network infrastructure required. That's internet connection. Some web hosting providers have internet connections that are as fast as 250 megabytes per second, one gigabyte per second. I don't have all this infrastructure. So what do we do? What we do now do is that we approach companies, big companies, that have all these infrastructures. So they have these supercomputers that are designed to do just the job of web hosting. And then those computers that we call servers are housed on their facilities, in their premises. And those servers can be anywhere in the world. There are servers in France, you have servers in Poland, you have servers in the US, you have servers scattered all over the world. So what we now do is that we approach these businesses and then we ask them, okay, I need a small space on your server. And then I can decide to say, okay, give me maybe 50 gigabytes of space on your server. And then 50 gigabytes of space is allocated to me on that server. And then when 50 gigabytes of space is allocated to me on the server, I use what we call FTP, file transfer protocols, and I transfer my files to that server so that when anybody from anywhere in the world requests for my website, my website is available to them. Now, don't worry. All these things are going to become clear as we go deeper into the videos because we're going to cover everything step by step. So even if you are a beginner, everything will become very very clear. So a web hosting provider is that business or that service provider that provides those servers for people who want to host their website. So hosting your website simply means that you are keeping the files of your website somewhere off-site. It's not no longer on your computer. It's off-site, so the files of your website can be in France. It can be in it can be in it can be in uh, in Poland. It can be in the U.S. And then when anybody from anywhere in the world requests for your website, those files are given to them. So a business that engages in the activity of providing these servers are called web hosting providers. So let's get that out of the way. Now that you know what a web hosting provider is, the next thing you want to ask yourself is, how do I resell web hosting as a business? Uh, we're not going to waste time, so let's get straight into it because I really need you to get the basics and then we can build this up from there. How do I resell web hosting as a business? Because right now, I don't have the capacity to build a, a, a server business myself. I don't have the technical know-how to set up a server firm. I don't have the technical know-how to do any of those things. I don't even have the cash to do any of those things. Yet, I want to create a business where I can potentially make a lot of money on a month to month basis by doing web hosting. I want to play in the web hosting industry. How do I do it? That, well, the, 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 the easiest way to get into that is to leverage existing infrastructure. So what do you do? You find a business that is already in that field, that is already going in that field, and then you just leverage their platform and then you build your business on top of that. I'm going to show you how very quickly before we begin to go into the specifics of getting things done and how you can set up yourself so that before the week is over, you have your own website hosting business going and then you can begin to build on top of that. And then all through the coming year, you can build out a business that you can go to whatever level you want and you'll be very, very happy that you did that. So let's see.